the internet as a commercial phenomenon actually uh, spread across the world from the day that I was confirmed as the FCC chair, and because coincidence is causation, that's why you could say that I caused uh, the internet he did, he did. Uh, as we know it. Uh, what is the main story about the internet? The actual technical suppleness of it has been driven by innovation and not by government dictate. That's true everywhere in the world. The most important thing about it is that it ought to be a common medium for the entire world. All nations should stipulate and agree to the basic protocols at a technical level that make the internet work in all nations. This is a big, big challenge. Uh, I'm going to be working with the Aspen Institute. I'm going to uh, rope uh, Michael in on this. We're going to try to have a year-long agenda where we end up crafting a lot of details around possibly new treaties, new institutions that will assure that the broadband phenomenon is not confined just to the top two-thirds of America but reaches seven billion people in the whole world. You know, I have to... Uh pay a compliment. You know, when I first came to the FCC, it was Reed Hunt who was outgoing and helped swear me in. Um, and, and really, you know, as I took over, uh, both as a commissioner and then future chairman, um, the, the insights about how substantial the Internet would be as the principal and primary platform for all forms of communication, not one small segment of it, I, I really first picked up from this guy. And um, and the extraordinary speed and, and appreciation for the ruthless, almost ruthless innovation and speed cycle that it represented. I, I find it amazing we're talking about an infrastructure that's, that's in really commercial parlance barely 12 years old, you know? And we act as if we've passed a lifetime. I mean, we've essentially created an entire new socioeconomic era in less than a decade. You know, I'm playing with my iPad today. I'm playing with devices that, frankly, would have been science fiction-like even just a decade ago. Um, and we should, we should be humble and respectful uh, of the power of technology, the power of that process, the power of innovation. Um, and, and while we're always rightfully de debating about the right place for government in that, no one will ever match the sort of ferocious innovation power of the technology itself, the markets themselves, and the kinds of entrepreneurial innovators that are coming out of high schools and colleges that are changing the world. When you think about a company like Google, it was founded by a couple of young kids out of college, and in less than three years, um, starts to create a company that becomes the most dominant provider in the economy that you can imagine. That, that, that's never happened before. Um, and I can tell my child he has an opportunity to, in one generation, um, become a great industrial leader in these spaces. That's great. And so uh, that's what I reflect on. You know, you're, you're looking at the bookends, at, at least for one small period, and, and look how much changed.